What's up everybody, Striker here. Welcome to Arc Aberrations. Where today, I found something very mysteriously cool. But I had to move my dinos further away from it because I don't know what it was or what it is. It was doing something to an animal just a little ways down there, but... Yeah, we'll get to that point. But anyways, look how cute he is. Oh, he's so cute. And ugly. He's just like he's just like the Pokemon character, except he doesn't have those tentacle th vines that come out of his side, or has that big uh, mushroom thing are on his on his back. But anyways, I moved I moved my character I moved my dinos over here where it's more of these dinos because it looks like they can really protect themselves because yeah. Plus, I have been leveling them up. He is now 85. I should say she's level LA5. We more leveling up. Oh, yes, you do. Also, I got myself a mine glass I built in since it came from the top of the ceiling. Got crystals and a few other items on the list. So that would be good. Okay, there we go. Let's bring your health up just a little bit, not too much. I don't want you to die. You're going to stay right here until you heal up. Now for you, are you still healing? Yeah. Let's get your stamina up a little bit. Oh yeah, she probably did your melee. Right now, oh my god, you are blue. Couldn't tell, it was all dark. Kind of. So anyways, I'll go ahead and show you right now. I'm gonna do these, let me get these guys up and running. Okay. Gun health. She's still got berries, you still got meat, and you got meat. So let's go ahead and turn you off. Let you charge up. Now I'll show you. Hopefully it's still there. I I never seen anything like it before. And I was like, oh it, it to me it looked like it'd be a danger to my pals, so I had to move them out of the way. Anyways, I was trying to get some more berries, and then I went around this area. Let's see if it's still down. Oh, it is! It's still down there. What the hell's it doing? Now that I got it for mine glass, let's check it out. Whoa! Did it. Is it stuck? Huh! Oh my god! Oh god, that down is coming up this way. Run! It's only level 12. I'm hoping my dino can handle themselves. For me, I should be okay. Ooh, is that Aladar coming at me? No. I don't know where the snake is. But that was kind of scary because I thought I shot like a, I thought I shot I thought it shot a fireball at me. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, anyways, I'm still <laughs> in the same area. Right now, I'm trying to get myself up there. Get myself a little bit prepared. Now I can make the weirdest journey ever. Plus, I need thatch. I tried chopping a few trees down, and it I, I can't chop any trees down. So, I've been just sitting here, leveling up my dinos, getting some berries and uh, mushrooms, of course. And just waiting for the pieces to fall off the ceiling. That's why I have a lot of, of this stuff. I need a little bit more wood so I can make a saddle at least. So I have something to ride. Let's bring my stone. Just a sprint four. There we go. Now I'm 58. Yes, I am leveling up fast. That's okay because I am playing my way. Because I am here by myself. If this was more of an online community, I would probably play it the other way around. Oh, there you eight. Couldn't tell because you were orange. Okay, so let's see what's over in this direction. Okay, good. I'm not sprinting, so I don't want to sprint. I see a bunch of those things. I don't know if they have thatch. I need thatch, but of course I don't have a chisel. Oh yeah, can I make a chisel now since I got actually more stone on me? Do 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 do. Ba ba ba. Do do do. Oh, 
I need that for that? Great. Well then. Ooh, a tricky. Oh, you're not aggressive, are you? Oh god. Why did I even freak out over that? I wasn't even sure what I was gonna do. Hmm. They look the same size, but their head's a little bit higher up. Sorry, just wanna examine you. There's another bubble sore. Oh, he's in. Oh, that's what he did. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's in the looks like. God damn, it's bright. Some more dodos. Dodos. Bobos. God damn, they still have those dinos. They're not even. Ooh. Did something die down there? <gasps> it did. Ooh. Oh! Okay, there's those mushrooms. It might have been that big boy right there that may have killed it. I don't see anything hostile around. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm hearing something. Oh! Right there! Right there! What level are you? Twelve. Okay. More meat for my beasts. I must run away. You can never recall to get yourself a free meal. Jeez, oh, that thing is running. I just want to go up here and check. Nice. Oh yeah. By the way, these things are kind of cool. They're chargers. So if I put my Bulbasaur next to it, does it charge it all the way? Or is it like getting battery or something? I don't know. Look at this! Holy shit, this place looks. Oh god. Oh, you just land? <laughs> this place will look like it'd be scary to explore, but also quite fun because it's something new and something to do. Where did the snake thing go? I'm afraid to even go over here because I don't want it to notice me. Just, all you gotta do is remember not to run back to your base, even though there's no base. But, oh my god, it's another raptor. Get up there. Hmm, it's got white fleckers on him. White flickers. You're the same. Oh, the Steggy is fighting it. Let's go over here. Since this is where the last time I saw the snake. I'm guessing it's a snake. I'm hoping it is. Oh, good. I landed up here. Where is it? Where is it? God damn. I was, I was actually going to go down there because I was actually at that tree. Couldn't chop it. I need to get somewhere to get wood and thatch. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that Basculus <gasps> from Harry Potter? Oh my God! It's like it's cold up into the ground and it uses those things as sensors. Oh, now I know. Now I know where it's at. So it's kind of like the golems. They blend in. You just can't tell. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out if I see any three uh, pines or uh, thorns sticking out of the ground. Then I know. Plus, it's a good thing I got myself a spyglass. So that way I can see what I'm doing. Or what I'm doing. See what it were. Yeah. Alright, let's see. How good are you healed? You're good. Eh. I want to go up there. Raptor's healed all the way. Oh yeah, I got more meat. You got enough on you. Let's give it to the, the puppy dog. 
He needs some meat. I'm gonna go ahead and give you these type of stones because I don't think I need them quite right now. But I do need these others. Actually, I can't build anything yet, so give you the whole thing. Do you need more berries? Ooh, you got quite a bit. It's those three. And you, Missy. You have quite a bit of meat on you. There we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, so... We're gonna go alone. Or, hmm. If it's not too dangerous up this way, I could bring him at least a little closer, step by step. And it seems to be more stegas, so it looks like it'd be nice. Let's go ahead and bring him over. And when I can get him at least far away from that basculus, but doesn't mean there's others around. Unluckily, well, there'd be more. Plus, there's actually plenty of berries. Let's go! Oh, yes, another batch! Come on! Gotta go! Wood, yes. Need that, need that. Wish they dropped thatch, is what I wish. Oh. Damn, it's so hard to control when it wiggles like that. No. Whoa, right in front of me. Ah. So lucky. Yes, I need the wood to make a saddle to give them some armor. Okay, right here should be good. Okay, there you go. Another piece of wood. Give me. Okay, yeah. Now I shall be able to build at least one saddle. Yeah, I got seven of them. So let's go ahead and put you in there, you in there, you in there, you in there. I only think I need wood, stone. What was it? Wood? I'll oh, grab them all just in case. There. And there you have it. Now what I'm missing? It's all the wood I have. Well, at least my raptor will have a saddle. There we go. I need to probably find some more. Right now my war is doing a little good. There you go. Let's make y'all like futuristic oh right there you already have it in ya there you go you're a cyber right now aren't you just pretty you blend in with this background oh is that a TV oh my god there's a sheep I wonder if I can cut that wood down Nah. <laughs> I was actually quite joking. Okay, dokey. Whoa. What the hell are these? Do they hurt? Oh. 
Okay, can I? Well, I got my thatch. Yay! Finally! I just didn't want to go down that way because I saw that thing moving and I was like, <gasps> that's why I moved him away. But now I know, so maybe the, maybe I gotta just hit these big mushrooms. But what happens if I hit those little taller ones? What do they give me? I guess we'll find out later. But first we gotta give this girl, this gal, some, oh shit, wrong thing. What the hell are these? These look like cigarette butts. Fungal wood? What the hell is it used for? No idea. Okay. How much? Oh, I got so much thatch. Okay. Or is that thing I dropped? I didn't mean to drop it because I made. Ah, there you are. Ah, damn. So laggy. Ah, there's too much activity here. Alright, now where's my Bubasaur? Okay, you doing good? You holding up? That's good. You stay right there. Let me heal up a bit. Let's go and check up here. I hope the guy is nothing a danger up here. Whoa, is that a little house? No. Holy crap! What the hell is this? Ooh, what was that? Why does it sound like I'm almost 10 feet back that way? I don't sprint yet. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get myself. This feels like I'm in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is I need to go back there and play that. For you guys. Just got sidetracked is all. Oh god, I'm not liking this because I could run into a basculus. But I'm not seeing thorny things. Oh! A dino just fell! <laughs> oh god, they're all falling! Oh. Jeez, okay. Yeah. So this is like a railway. That sound. Sounds creepy. This feels like Jurassic Park right here. I mean, Jurassic World. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, oh, is that water? Yes! It is! Oh boy! Gotta get my piles and we gotta move them down. Is that TV? Oh, I said that before, right? Yeah. Let's check the other side. See what's going on over here. Ooh! Oh, that sounds nice. It's like a hologram TV. This feels like Subnautica. I wish they'd make that for PS4. Doesn't it? It feels like it with all this structure right here. Oh, it makes me wonder what it was like before everything went to hell. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous here, but there is a pathway down there. I was actually hoping to build a, at least a little home up here, but since there's a basket nearby, well, I think I'd be okay. I ain't only level 12, I can kill it. Maybe, unless it sprays like hot burning acid. So this is, must be where it stops. It looks like a giant gun. Oh, back here does. Oh, I bet you that's the one thing. It Something from down there travels at light speed, hits this, probably goes into like a jumping thing, and probably hits like a hologram railroad. And gets warped into another world? Man, it's getting quite dark in here. At least all the dinos are glowing. Okay, are you guys well enough to travel? Okay, you're still hurt. You are okay. You are still hurt. But I'm hoping you'll be okay. 
That's what we need, yeah. Let's make your melee up. Defend yourself. And you, Papa Ruse. Oh, oh. No! How does it make it so difficult to do that? Let's bring your stamina up a. Mm, let's bring one more. There we go. There you go. <laughs> that was funny. Meh. It's like echoing. Oh goody. All right then. So. Meh. Ooh, that is nice and tight. Okay, so let's go. As soon as it be safe, and we got light. I got our own headlights. I should probably name it headlights. What was that? I should have a point because there was. I thought I saw something over there. It could have been in your head. Getting in the way. That's okay. Oh, it must be the bubble swords making a, making the noise of the glowingness. Cause I'm like I'm hearing something very weird, and it is dark, like dark, dark. Oh man, I wonder what it's like outside. If you can go outside. But yeah, as I was saying before in the first episode, um. This is what it actually would look like if you went, uh, you know, like if you've seen the movie of Journey to the Center of Earth, and it's always had that weird, marvelous thing in the middle, or in the middle, like, when you get down there, it does all that cool, featurey stuff, and it's awesome. This is what it actually would feel like, but except it's got technology, like something was here. But it also feels like Subnautica, like when the ones you've seen of Markiplier and Jessica Kai play. Has that, oh, what is that? Why does it have a weird thing right there on my screen? Next to my XP. What is that? See if it goes away if I... Oh! Nifty! But, you know what? I don't know if that glitch is still fixed, but I'm gonna take this off. Because you glow! Now I could find you easier. Cause let's see. If I want to find you oh where the hell you put it? No, no. Highlight it, there we go. Put it on. Now wait 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 wait. First, first, first. That is just creepy. So <laughs> it's like I don't want to fall myself. So if I go about uh, right here should be good. Even though I can see their names, but I want to actually see if I can actually see his color. And I can see the little bit of the blue. Oh my god, it's like retro right there. Ooh. It's like blue going vintage. Wow. It is dark. Except there's no volcano in here, or at least, you know, and there's giant mushrooms. But this is what it feels like. I mean, when I watched the trailer, like I said before in the previous video, it looked like almost as if you were entering into the center of the earth. But when on some of the episode uh, trailers, they showed where this has been. This place was corrupted. It got damaged. But it's like how, why, or what happened? But seeing this warp gate. A rail gate for something maybe that's where they carried energy for the r warp gate maybe oh look at that red green blue ooh just like those towers <gasps> I wonder if they have any of those towers here probably not I don't know I haven't seen the whole world yet I mean how this is as far as I got <laughs> yeah so it's gonna be a while we're gonna. Pry, I'm gonna wait until like morning. Um, uh, kind of a morning. 
Because there was actually quite a few scorpions down there, and if they're really high level, they may kill me or my dinos, especially when they knock them out. So, yeah, we're gonna go no more. No, I want to turn on you. There you go. <laughs> it's so cute when you do that. Ah, there we go. Now I have a little bit of light. Right there. Just gonna go right here. Yeah, there's something moving down there, but that is creepy. Like a creepy tunnel. Like a horror right there. Like a horror game. A sci fi game. Just the way the sound is, it is creepy as hell. I wonder what is down there, especially a giant hole in there. I like that. I like to see that, especially technology like this. Like, on if you've seen my videos or anyone else's videos of Rising Zero of Dawn or the game, if or if you played the game, then you know what it's like. But when the futuristic technology like this gets abandoned and it gets all this corroded stuff all over it, and kind of looks like it's like the uh, Jurassic Park. Since if you've seen them before, seen those movies where you see how it's all decayed and corroded up and gotten old over the time of passing and it's just unbelievable just get this and get some more berries for you should probably go to my other worlds and see what changed on them as well but that be in the next life, maybe. We'll see. But without further ado, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And, oh, shit. Wrong button. Alright, let's do this. There. That's better. Or I guess I can just, um... See, can I actually just do it like that? Yeah, that's actually better. Looks like actually, uh... Night light. <laughs> so anyways, I'll see you guys in another episode of Arc Aberration. This has been one hell of a journey of fun and it is creepy as hell at dark. And I do not want to venture for through it because if there's actually more basculas down the way in that nighttime you can't see their damn thorns sticking out of the ground. It might be a nightmare. For me, for you. And for all those that don't dare to go. <laughs> but yeah. So, I'll see you guys. I already said that. So anyways, hit that like button, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in another episode of Arc Aberrations. Peace out, everybody. Eh, 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 it's so hard to do that. Mm. Bye. Why does it sound like I'm almost 10,000 feet over that way behind me? We'll never know. Will we? Or will we not? Look how excited you are. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Bye!